What up, what up? Ofi checking in for jamthehype.com out here in South by Southwest with one of my favorite rappers. He goes by the name of Seven. Seven, thank you for being in the building. How you feeling? How do you like the South by Southwest vibe? Blessed, man. It's cool. It's cool. It's new. New for me. Yeah. Oh, so this is your first time? Bro, I ain't never been to nothing like this. Like, no gospel rap Word. convention, nothing. You feel Word. me? Yeah, so this is, uh, yeah, this is a trip. All right, and I know that it's probably a little bit different for, for y'all, right? Yeah, yeah, very, very different. But it's cool, you know what I'm saying? Like, meeting a lot of people and just seeing the transition. Bro, I remember back in the day, they used to tell me, like, I was banned from stuff like this, you know what I'm saying? Yo, for real, you know what I'm saying? So there was a time when it was like, yo, that dude can't come. He can't come here. Yeah, so then to see years and years later, like how God, yeah, it's like, yo, bring him, bring him. Oh, you in town? Oh, we want to do this, we want to do that. And I'm just like, and and, the, and that's not the wildest thing because you can hustle your way into that. You know what I'm saying? Right, right, right. But this is all the Lord because I ain't never tried to be here. I ain't never, like I brought, I brought about me and my partner, we brought 30 guys out here to hit the streets on a missions trip. Yeah, and then cats just found out that we were in town and was like, oh, can he do this? Can he do that? You feel me? So I'm like, yeah, you know, as long as it don't interfere with what we're doing. You know, we outside passing out tracks and praying for people and fellowshipping with each other because we don't get to get together a lot. But it's just, man, I, I, I really want to say this, man, like, you don't, you don't have to try to do this. You know what I'm saying? You could, like, do that. You feel me? And if this is his will for you, he'll do this. But if it's not his will for you, then why would you even want it anyway? And it's important. I think that's cool, cool that you're saying that. Not only you're saying be in his will and God can open the doors, but also more than that is also the fact that be in his will because when these same people have told you no and are now welcoming you, you got to have the right heart to be like, hey, okay, okay, God, if that's what you want me to do, I'm not going to hold any grudges. You know what I mean? I think that's what you're doing now. Yeah, bro, I don't, I don't, have, I don't hold nothing against nobody, homie. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I owe no man nothing but to love him, bro. That's right. You know what I'm saying? And whatever was done to me, um, um, if, if, if I did anything to cause an offense, you know, I've repented of those things and I'm moving forward. If that person wants to hold on to things, God bless them. And that's between them and the father. You feel what I'm saying? If, if anybody got outright hatred for me, man, God bless you, homie. Like it's nothing. You know what I'm saying? Nothing from this end, you know? So, uh, I'm, I'm born, of, I'm born of God. I'm born of the spirit and, and God is love. So I'm born of love, bro. Love. I, I pray, man, Lord, I want love to be my natural reaction. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to have to dig it up. Right. And I think that you are, because of that um, attitude that you do have, you have become, and this is, again, not of you, but of God, you become one of the most personal artists, um, I think, in the game right now, where where when somebody approaches you, and, I, and, I, and I'm one of those dudes that approach you, and like, yo, I'm a big fan, you speak to me like a brother. Right. You know what I mean? And, and, I, and I do appreciate that. And it, it really shows the evidence of what you're talking about. You know, is that something you try to do intentionally? No, no, nah, man. I don't look at myself. See, first of all, I don't listen to, 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 to rap music. I don't listen to really music in general. I pay absolutely no attention to anything that's going on in not only the gospel music industry, but any music industry at all. You feel me? So the way that people perceive me, like those videos recently that have gone viral, I didn't know that. Somebody had to tell me and they're screenshotting me my view. I don't look at these things. I don't go online and read comments. I don't, I don't even really participate in social media. I just want to be about the Father's will. I quit this. God brought me back. You feel what I'm saying? And I'm, I'm here on a mission to edify the body of Christ and bring correction where correction is due, to be transparent before my brothers and sisters so that I am not, I don't become an idol. And I'm also here to make sure that the neighborhoods out here of this world, homie, the forgotten ones, the lost ones, the neglected ones are going to get the real gospel as long as I'm breathing. You feel what I'm saying? That's all I'm here to do. I'm not interested in nothing else. So when you approach me, you my brother in Christ, homie. Right. Like, you have your thing, I got mine. But that's those right. things aside, bro, Christ died for us when we were right. still in sin. Right. So, you know, that's what we got to meet eye to eye. <laughs> you my feel brother, me? Though. He's my brother.